Okay guys, Randy's about ready to bring the other gray tank down and start working on that. But um, I'm trying to talk him into plumbing the urine out of our composting toilet into the gray tank. So I just was looking and um, it's almost directly across from the shower drain. So I'm gonna go check under the bus and um, see if I remember right, that was between a couple of ribs and if it's an easy, um, drill down through the floor. I think I can talk him into doing that. So let's go check it out and see. So let's see if I can locate. Yeah. So there's the shower coming down and we're pretty much right between a couple of ribs. So I, it's going to be tight. He might hit this rib here, but let me go show you in the bus what I'm talking about. I think we might be able to make it. If anything, you might have to just cut a little bit of a flange off right here, but I think it'll work. Let's go see. So here's what I'm talking about. There's the shower drain right there, and I'll, I'll try to see if I can get them both in, but you can see there's the nature's head right there. So it's almost directly across from the shower drain. I like hey, your... look, look, is he out here checking it out too? Well, it was easy to locate it because I could measure from there over so the toilet is right there. There's a nice little black mark already. So that's the uh, middle of the uh -huh. toilet. It's just, like you said, it is. Yeah, it's, it's right. It's in that rib. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, it's between these two ribs. And if anything, you might have to cut a wee bit out, but we have a water line yeah. going there. No. The shower cleared it. Yeah, the shower cleared it, but the composting toilet might be just a little bit to the, I think it's gonna clear it. to the back of the bus. Like 20 inches from the inside of the wall. Yeah, baby, that, I think it's gonna come out like right here. Hey, we should put a little piece of tape right there. We can make this come down, uh -huh. go over and tee right here, and then go down, and those could both go in together. Yeah. That'd be really clean. Yeah, because yeah, that's the sink over. line. Uh huh. Yep. Tumbling my turds. <laughs> a turd tumbler. I'm a turd tumbler. Okay. But I've seen other guys do this. They put that thing right down through the floor, which would work great because my hole saw will cut a hole and that flange will hold it up. So. Oh, yeah, you've got that thing. What's I just on the need door? to see what's going to fit there. So. Sensor. Oh, that's like wide open. Just a little spigot there. Yeah. I can just go get a, a male thread. There's one of these one of these things because this end, yeah, it's got that taper too. And there's one of these things that when you screw that in there, there's a there's a. A spot for that taper to hit and it seals. So I'll go see if I can get two of those. Have that plumb down into the gray tank right below. Right, and then I can just take this thing off and have the pipe going get that where it goes in position, get it made and cut to length, and then just mark the floor. We could potentially leave this so that when we didn't want to do it, we could pull it back up through. We could put one of those rubber connectors on it. If we didn't want to have it, we could pull it back through. But I'm pretty sure you're going to want it all the time once you have it. Hey, I don't dump the pee. You do. <laughs> I am not. I dump the, the pee and tumble the turds. I am not the pee dumper. <laughs> I did that for seven months. It's your turn. Well, I figured since I never changed the diaper. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, YouTube, you heard it there, man. Oh, yeah, I can pull the mom card, huh? <laughs> All right, so with this HEP flow thing for the toilet, it's got the same thing. It's got the arrow mark so you don't get confused. So you know the, the water goes through it that way. So this is, I think they call this a trap adapter. Anyhow, this would go underneath the sink, which is where these things are made to go. So if you used the tailpiece, then you would use these washers, but we don't need any of that. For this, what we wanted to get was this 
beveled piece here on the inside. So that beveled piece is where these washers were supposed to go, like that, to seal it. Well, this HEP flow has the same thing built into it. So when you screw this on here, and then that's up at the toilet, now it's waterproof. It's sealed right there. And then down at the bottom, we're gonna go down through the floor. So this is just an inch and a half pipe. This is the opposite thread, so you gotta have one like this. Okay, so in this scenario, all you gotta do is just thread this on there. I mean, you could put Teflon tape in there, that's kind of a debatable thing. But the water's flowing this way. It's a gravity flow, it's a, it's a non-pressurized flow for this thing. So this is not gonna be a problem. So that'll go up to the toilet and it had that little spout. So what I did is I got a, uh, a reducer. Now that guy's gonna go in there. And then the toilet had that little spout so it reduces the, that thing can't slop around and the little spout's gonna fit down in there. So I'll just smooth this up with a piece of sandpaper on the flat surface to take the writing off so that rubber gasket can seal on there. We should be able to just push it up there. That fits too good. I'm gonna to have to loosen that up a little bit. Yeah, well, this thing will come off when we're using uh -huh, that. Uh -huh. And then we'll just go straight down to the floor. <laughs> yeah. I'll just take those threads out of there. That's too easy. You can buy that without the threads, but the store that I was at was a little limited, so they didn't have it. And Randy is um, fighting with the bus. Dude. <laughs> I put streamers on the mirrors, I put foam things hanging and every once in a while I just dodge it the wrong way and it clips me. Oh. I'm, the mirrors are broken, the housings are broken, the motors don't work to adjust them. So I'm going to take them off but I just haven't had time to switch them out to a different mirror. But it's going to be, I, YouTube it's only like this I much know. too low. I can't, I just can't quite get underneath it. Anyhow. But back, back to our composting toilet and plumbing the toilet to the gray tank. So, I got that, that piece that I had there, that bushing. We just cut the threads out of it. So, you could get an inch and a half to uh, a different size bushing. The bushing I had had threads and it didn't need them. So, we just cut them out and it made room for that spout. So, I'm hoping that I can put this collar that... I think it's going to fit perfect. Okay, with that out, then, oh yeah, it's perfect. Oh, wow. Because it'll just give me a little bit of compression. Look there at that. Go. Look at that. So, and that's not pushed all the way in. And this, oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, your head's in our way. Hope so. There, I just I just pushed it down. Now that's going to be a bugger to get apart. But anyhow, um, so you can drill the hole right there. And now that so that little part right there, it drops into that bushing. So having that bushing in there will uh, help hold it, huh? Make it easier for it to be centered. So we got to leave this so that we can lift it up and put that flooring down. Right. Oh, we Which might put tile in here so we could just tile around this anyhow pot potentially. Oh yeah. If we tile it, we'll just tile up to this fitting. But anyhow, this stuff here is, lift up the toilet, unscrew this from that, you could still take it out. I don't know why you would want to. This is gonna be nice, YouTube. So we'll drill through here and see if we hit our little hole that we Okay, guys, here's our famous pilot hole. <laughs> Go to the tape. You want to be one with the tape. He wants yeah, to yeah, he wants to be in the middle of those two ribs. Okay, let's go see where we came out, YouTube. Oops, Brandy's coming out the back. I went out the front. 
Let's see where we came out, guys. Whoa, yeah, yeah. Did Look, we, did we nick the tape? We nicked the tape, or just to the side of the tape, but we are going to clear both of those rooms. Awesome. That is so cool. sitting here going oh are we gonna have that all hooked up by tonight otherwise we're gonna be back to peeing in a bucket again so um I'll put the other thing back on before tonight yeah you'll never make it back on the bucket i know once You're i broke from the bucket i know I, I've, once i've had the throne i don't want to go back to the bucket please check this out youtube it's a poor man's creeper Cardboard on cardboard. It's awesome. <laughs> you don't get that burn on the back. You can see our pipe coming down. I am so thankful that we got room down here to work. I know. Isn't this awesome? It's awesome. So now all I gotta do is bring this over to that. And when I do that. Cut that and bring that one into there. Yeah, so that it sweeps around the corner and goes that way. Let me see that part again. Yeah, so, yeah, perfect. And so we want to we want to have drop on these so the water drains. So we cut this up a little bit. It'll run downhill to that one, right underneath these pipes. And I got that and one glued the... up on the top already. So yeah, that's the the vanity, the bathroom sink. Go we'll cut these two off and then come back and put them back in and then get the measurement. Do a dry fit. Yeah. I'm gonna hold this down. You have to hold it down because the pipe's not in it yet. Right. So you're... And I'm going to push the pipe up through and dry fit it. Okay. You can see the hole there. So he's going to be pushing the pipe up into this as a dry fit. I feel it coming. It's good? Perfect, he said. That's what we want to hear. Okay, so how's that look on your side? I am real. We just need that piece connecting the two now, huh? Yeah, we just cut this piece. I think this one's going to be up. Marked. Marked down, drilled, and back up, and that's it. I, hope. I think so. I'm hoping. Oh, so he's got the holes marked. And he's dropped down for the air vent. And he's gluing this connector together right here. Okay guys, we got the gray tank, the second gray tank in place, and we got both holes plugged going in. Want that one there is for the vent, and this one here is for the wastewater coming in. So we are good to go. And this tank is in its spot. So hopefully it doesn't have to come down anymore. So um, this is going to be a really good spot to end the video and we will just catch you guys in the next one. And please know that we love sharing the journey with you all and hope you have a wonderful day and love to you all. Bye.